Hello, hey welcome back to our Let's Play of Moonlighter. I'm your host, Chelsea, and this is an indie game similar to that Wizards of Legend game I played in, but the difference is that you're one of the merchants. So, here's a full of similar art style. There's a combat system similar to Castlevania where you hit with a, a and X and you dodge with the left trigger, which I found interesting. So, get your little crafting items, your money items, and then between dungeons, it's your job to actually sell stuff to the villagers. So we're doing just that. So this is my stuff I'm going to be selling. You set it up on the table. And yeah, it gets sold eventually, hopefully. Now it's based on uh, supply and demand. So if you sell too much of something, people stop wanting it. And I've been playing this for a few hours now, so I actually got some stats to me. So I got some shiny and shouted stuff. It's plus and some potions. This guy's thinking about it. Yeah. So with the gold stuff in his eyes, like yeah, I want, I want this. This very much. Give me it. And it also means that the price was just right for the item. It can show up like that if you've underpriced it so much that it's so cheap that they'll buy it. They're like, yeah, you're you're um, kind of shafting yourself here with the price, but we don't mind because we're here to buy stuff and you're here to sell stuff. So most of the time, this stuff will always sell, but not everyone's going to be buying the swords and shields or the swords in general. Some people are just regular people. This person wants the sword, and apparently it's a good price for it. That's an okay price for it, because it costs a thousand gold to make, but I marked it up so I wouldn't lose money making them. Now I've got enough money to buy lots of stuff, because I need money for... What should we call it? Potions. Because every t I'm on the last boss of a dungeon and I can't beat it because, well, I ran out of potions. So the shop's closed, gonna run out of stuff. And I made three and a half thousand gold, which is the most I've had in a day. But it's pretty up there with stuff you can do. So you can invest in the town, you can buy this guy, whatever he does. Can't request him at night, apparently. I'll upgrade my shop then. I am sold with this box of 5% discount. Because what you can have a set price, and I guess if you put it in there, it's 75% off. It's like, yeah, I've got lots of these. If you don't want to buy in the shop, here's like a discount on it. I need potions, so. I'm gonna get one. Cost me quite a bit. It cost me. <laughs> we saw the number. And is that how many potions is that? That's five. Complaining now. I'm gonna buy the upgrade from my shop. And I can buy a sword as well. Or more better armor, because I think I've got the stuff for it. Nope, but I can make another sword. Not quite. I can't make anything. I can't do the things they're telling you guys I can do. This game so it was weird. Okay, so now I've sold all my stuff. Got my potions ready. No, I didn't sell all my stuff. I lie, I missed stuff. I can go back onto this table here. The stuff I'm selling. So it tells you what, so it doesn't actually tell me the price of uh, blank spaces, but this one went well for a hundred, so I'm gonna, and it's hundred each, so I can make these about maybe 125, and then people will go, um, yeah, the price is okay. This means that the shop makes more money, because the goal is that you go out, you collect stuff, and then you come back and you make money. Capitalism. Wait. Is that how capitalism works? I'm not sure. Anyway, so I've only unlocked one dungeon so far because I've only been playing for like an hour or two. Maybe three. I lost count. Been like five minutes since I started. So this is how quickly you do stuff in the game. You just go out, you make collect stuff, and then suddenly you got more stuff. And it's pretty neat.
Alright, so you know, I'm kind of blitzed through this dungeon a little bit, so I'm gonna upgrade his sword, so I should be able to one shot anything in the first room. Kind of tells you how many hits I was gonna take. And that treasure chest slowly sinks, so if you don't kill everything fast enough, it's gone. Uh, let's see what we're doing. Gotta go this way. This room is just a exposition room. I need to find the boss room. That thing like humps. I don't even know what it is. It's just like an energy attack of some kind. Uh, we're going through here. Okay, so I think it's the number of hits for that. So some items are useful, some items are chaff, and the idea is that you're meant to be able to sell them to the people in the town, and there's a mirror item that I'm going to show you soon when it gets full, that just removes items from your inventory, so if you don't really feel like selling them, where you have already got enough, you don't really need to sell them. Because you're making money off the other things you're picking up further on the dungeon. But I need these little jelly thingies, I didn't know I needed them, so I sold a bunch of them at the beginning. But they make potions, like, cost half as much. Turns out you need potions, so half price potions is really good. You don't take any damage when the guy eats you, which I guess is actually pretty cool. So anyway, oh, so he takes two hits, so I was wrong about that little thing above their head. And the thing that's telling me to press B, the notification is, um, like, you can leave the dungeon. Just let you know that yeah you can leave because the old man who gives you it's just like hey don't die it's not a roguelike game but if you die in the dungeon you lose all the stuff you picked up that's a, a kind of a roguelike kind of not a roguelike if it was a roguelike you'd die and you'd have nothing but similar to wizard of legend in that sense because when you die in that you do keep some stuff you keep like Oh, you unlock the spells, you still have to buy them, but you can kind of keep them. It's a healing fountain. It's a dude. Say hi to him. It's pretty hard, normally. My armor is good at the moment, so... Well, good for what level I'm at, but it's not good good. This guy... I'll, I'll show you, because I can kill him very quickly. So he's an attack, he's a swipe attack, and he's got a... That thing. The idea is that... Early on, he's pretty hard to kill because one, you're getting used to the game, and two, you're gonna get rid of some of these um, items. Some of these items I actually want to keep, but I'm not too worried about it. Some of these items have downside effects, so this one's like, it's gonna get rid of some of the other items in my uh, inventory. Where am I going? Going to the next room. Because I'm kind of blitzing for this. So, I want to get to the next boss as quickly as possible. That way I can show you guys the boss. That would be cool. I haven't used any potions yet, so I know I've got eight left. But you don't want to die with this stuff. Because then it's like, you saw at the beginning, it was like 5,000 gold or whatever. You just lose that. This guy, you have to wait till he's stunned before you can hit him. So it's actually just dumb. It's like, oh yeah, you can't hurt this guy at all. To wait. I'm not patient enough for that. That on the bottom left is your map. It tells you where you can go, who you haven't been, who you haven't done. Can't knock these guys off the edge. Kind of weird. That makes sense to some degree. Not really. Especially because they can hit me from behind when they're not attacking side because they exist. Like you've hit me a few times. Wait, you've got no health bar. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of some of these items we got. He's gone. I actually needed those and I got rid of them. My bad. The mirror gets rid of an item. That's its job. Ooh, I went to my house. Ouch. 
worth it. Um, I hope they find a healing place. But yeah, it gets rid of it. You can see that that turn, that is nothing, but for, that's one gold anyway. Uh, I'm gonna use it on the question mark items. So these are items that I don't know what they are until the dungeon is over. Once the dungeon's over, it just goes, ah, oh, yeah, you got these things, and you sell them, and you got, like, yeah, money. Kind of weird. Like, it's a weird take on how, I think, merchants get their items in the game. Like, oh yeah, no. The reason um, so many mercenaries and stuff die in the dungeons is because, like, the merchants just send them out. Or they go and collect them themselves. Like, say, yeah, we need to sell this stuff. Uh, but you're going down to the dungeon and you're not coming out until you kill enough things, get enough food to swat a family. I don't want to go to the dungeon. It's scary down there, there's like monsters, yeah. If you go down there, it'd be less scary because there'll be less monsters. No, this logic is why you and Mom separate, isn't it? We don't talk about that. Um, let's see, what are we doing? Can't hit him yet. He's just kind of. These things are annoying because they just spit stuff at you. Um. Don't need that. 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 Can't need that. Don't want that. Now there's an item in my inventory that lets me leave the dungeon and come back. So I can just like inventory the spaces. I'm gonna try that because I haven't done that yet. Well, it just makes it so that the dungeon's the same. Yeah, okay, so using this. I guess it works like the D3 portal. Not entirely sure, so I should be able to store my stuff. And that stays open. It's morning, 10 minutes in. The idea is that you're making more money than that thing costs, I guess. Can I sell the swingy? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so I'm just gonna do a quick shop. People can steal, so yeah, you can't just leave your shop unattended. For those of you who would ever think to leave your shop unattended, just don't do it, it's not a good look. Seem to have you with that deal. Uh, so I got about five thousand gold. So I use blueprints things. I don't even know if they're usable. I just know I'm selling them. Sale bin. I think we're gonna get anything from this. Ow. I hand them my desk. Sweet. So with that. Everything emptied from my inventory, so I'm just gonna s sell that and close the store. That was about that was two and a half thousand, so not the same for every run, but that was only a half run in comparison. So, my last run, I got further into that dungeon and got better stuff. And it was a let's play, but anyway, so gonna buy some more potions. 
by seven with at cheaper because I have seven of those little thingy with jiggies. Now I got enough to go in and fight the boss hopefully. And also rolling does make you move faster apparently. So I'm not sure if it does a snapshot of the dungeon or just uh, resets it on the way in, but I'm assuming it's the same dungeon, same place. I end up next to the treasure chest. Let's find out. Neat. Look, it's rid of the items, but. Let's not get rid of my um, potions, shall we? Uh, the button for the map. Okay, so we need to go left. Really? Right, so have to kill these guys. What's this? The treasure chest. Here we got this guy. This guy teleports his stick. So now I hit him pretty hard because I got a few upgrades. But kind of annoying not know where your enemy's going to be hitting from. He also does this thing as well as like the other one. But he does it a bit better because he teleports as well. But he dies. So whatever. Um, Alright, boss room. I'm gonna heal up first. Well, it's not the boss room, it's like the room before the boss room. How far in? It's 25 minutes. 17. We keep going. You guys seem to watch some of it, so. They're gonna stop just because, like. Someone might be like, oh no, it's a long video. Whatever, you guys can enjoy as much as you want and stuff whenever you want. Now we gotta find the boss room. It's somewhere in here. Alright, that's. Should not have exploded. Really should have. So I'm guessing whenever you teleport back, is like. It's like the end of the dungeon. It looks to things and it's a new day no matter what time you get back, so it kinda makes sense that the longer you're in here, like the less time passes. Oh, he's dead. Let's just get rid of some of these things we don't need. Got a lot of these now actually. So that uh, ten thousand. Hey, what? They just they're straight in there. Neat. What does this do? Nothing. Okay, cool. Going this way. Potions do I have this many? The game is kind of rough because these dungeons are roguelike in the sense that when you die, you lose all the stuff you collected. But at the same time, it's kind of cool. But I, well, except for these things, like the things you have on your person, you keep those. But anything you have in your backpack is gets like dropped, like a new water. Uh, like a hot potato. It's a newborn. Oops. Hey, there's stuns in this game. Cool. I feel sorry for these monsters. 
Who knows head in there besides swords? So these things change directions, they see you. You gotta get in close, get behind them, and just double hit them. Not too bad. Those guys kinda shoot on an angle. So with like isometric movement, you've got a really good advantage on them. But they're quite kind of annoying if you're in the middle of a big area. Some of these chaff items. In here. Let's send an item home. Uh, I have to wait till this thing dies before I even go back. So some of these rooms are dead ends. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. No, he's dead. Got two spare potions. Not good. I just want to hit the boss room immediately, but there's no way to tell where that is. Where is that? Maybe there is later on. I don't know. Only at the beginning of the game. Well, it's a few hours in, but still the beginning. Games like this tend to have very long bits to them. Oh. Yeah, take that, you bastard. Oh, shit. Yeah. Are we dying again? I like the soundtrack, it's so relaxing. Like all these stringed instruments in the background. And the piano. Do, 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 do. What are we doing? boss isn't this way either. It's bad, so we have to go back out, get some more potions. It's kind of cool because I've got so much money this round, but it's like kind of annoying because I didn't do much else. If you collect that too much of the same item, they just go like, nah, we don't want it anymore. You kind of have to like not collect everything and everything, but you had to collect everything and everything for different days. There's also a discount box, so it's like, I can't sell these things, might as well just put them on discount. And you get, like, more money, I guess. Once I find the boss room, I am gonna, like, go back to town. I'll try to figure out how to get this guy to hit something. Not me. Come on, ah oh, fine, let's get another room then. Sweet, there's a healing place. It's limited. Did that, did that knock stuff out of my inventory? It did. It's good to know. Didn't know it did that. Okay, I can't collect those, so I'm gonna put these things in there and chuck these in. And there's the boss room. Really interesting game, really. Like, dodge mechanic is good. Fight system is fairly basic. It hack and slash, momentum. And we got a boss coming up, so I'm just gonna quickly take the portal home. Got a team going for supplies. And then when I come back, I should. Yeah, fight the boss. Right, so 
some stuff to sell. So, um, that stuff can go on the discount. Looking that. Um, golden volumes. I actually sold these. Are they in demand? I don't know. These could be like 200 each. Let's see how they sell. Sweet. Now check these in on discount. Best can go on my own. That's all I got from that. Is the mirror took all my items, so there's like not much to sell at the moment. It's like, ah, oh, wait, what? Why aren't you selling it stuff? You're a, you're a shop, why don't you sell anything? I'm a shop. I don't want to sell anything because I don't have anything to sell. But they're happy with that price for them. Those, so they must be useful. really like those prizes. Top notch. Sweet. Just close. Going back. <laughs> four, four grand. Okay. That's like more than before. Because before I only got two and a half, now I got four, I got fifteen grand just burning a hole in my pocket. Now I'll buy ten potions. Uh, that can go in there. Sweet, so now I got like a lot of potions. Maybe I can buy some stuff from the blacksmith. Hmm. Can't upgrade my stuff, but I can make. I'm already got a helmet. Make boots. Yes, I can. Make boots. For well, me. No one else. This is a neutral, so yeah. They're the wrong color for what I'm making, aren't they? Yep. Can make anything else. Make some armor. That can go on sale. So that cost me 4,000, so that can go on 4.2 thousand. Four and a half. But yeah, you need this. You need this to survive. You can pay money for it. Alright, boss fight. Boss fight. Um. Now I got better armor. Should be all good. It is that if you made something that you don't want anyway, you can just... Oh, thanks game. <laughs> that was... What? This is a giant golem and a slime. So when you hit him, he takes damage. He's gonna attack that slams you with rocks. And this thing punches you. As you can see, it's guy is following me. You can see the frames. You can't see the frames when he's trying to hit you. Interesting. He's trying to hit me with his hand, so you can see the little dot there. So it gets bigger, that's when you need to dodge. Not beforehand, not afterhand. Definitely dodge the hand. Mind the little dots on the ground, that is where you're going to be hit. Uh, 
Uh, I did. I bought this guy once, but not successfully. I had to press the escape button, or is just plain dead. Can't use my inventory. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Oh crap! Can't use my inventory. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Just keep hitting him and eventually he dies, right? No? Where are these dots coming? Come on. Yeah! Got him. Sweet. Now what? What's that? I get to that. One of these. Uh. Oh. There are stairs. There are in back stairs. Golem history, golem history. These things. Things are worth a lot. Like thousands. Alright. Well, that's probably the end of the Let's Play. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on another one next week. Laters.